welcome to panta key learn thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel in this video we are going to see currency reduction and fake currency reduction so image processing and nn inside the matlab so regarding this uh, particular uh, image processing technique uh, here currency each and every currency is a kind of paper so the most of the thing is with the help of an artificial intelligence or the machine learning application we will be able to find out whether this is a original one or the duplicate one obviously if you train to the particular machine and uh, the original thing means then whatever the thing it is fitting in the secondary we can mention it as a the fake But here we, we can, can uh, just train both in some kind of parameters, and from the parameters, we we are forced to find out what type of uh, particular currency is this, whether it is original or duplicate, and how we are going to find out means this uh, particular iteration will be applied through different image processing techniques. Like first we have to bring the image, then providing the input, a uh, GLCM uh, for picture extraction. Training another machine learning, and after finally we have to classify. So this will be the complete process which we will be following probably throughout the project. So inside this, uh, how the particular function it is being applied. The main uh, aim of this particular project, the so using the wave transformation for compression, as well as the analysis done from the different techniques like edge reduction and feature extraction. Finally, it should classify. Whether this is an original note or the fake note. So what are all uh, the analysis taken? Like uh, how the particular feature extraction is providing and challenging uh, information for each and every parts. So once when we go for the coding part, we will come to know each and every compression inside the wave bed. The GLCM uh, actually they have four parameters for dependability and what compression. From that, each and every parameter or the passes has been applied under the new kind corner of GLCM, and from that we have taken as a mean value of the total GLCM part. So that particular uh, requirement we are facing a more kind of challenging informations, and apart from that, we have to represent the exact feature of the currency. After the feature extraction, also that feature should be highlighted because uh, for the twenty rupees or the four two hundred five hundred, all the things the color as well as the texture only is being changed. That is the most important part. So instead of the proposed work, we will be able to apply the particular identification, and from that particular identification, we will be able to extract the particular feature, and from that it can be applied for the recognition purpose. So what are all the techniques we have uh, proposed uh, into this particular kind of requirement is that the discrete wave transform has been applied, edge reduction has been applied, feature extraction using gray level coherence matrix system also has been applied for the classification as as well as retrieval of currency notes. How that rupees reduction is done to identify a currency. First, we have to uh, provide the particular database. We have to show the database, and we have to show the test image. Now we will be providing the input image. Then the pre-processing will be taking, and from that the pattern will be extracted. So the pattern in the sense, each and every subband will be extracted with the help of DWT, and then using GLCM, the features from each and every patterns we will be able to finalize. Then. When we come on to the database, so the database is also the same process that will be moving on, but for a group of images. Here for the test image, we will be providing only the one image, whereas for the database, we will be providing a group of images. Then after that, the pattern recognition will be applied, and from that, the neural network training. So here we are using SVM algorithm for training purpose, and from that SVM training, the two classes will be the fake as well as original. And from that, uh, here uh, we are not mentioning the fake as well as original. The reason is first we have to identify the rupees. Now from this, the rupees will be identified. On to the next set of process, we will be moving on to the original and non-original. So like uh, once the rupees have been identified, from that ROI will be applied. 
and inside the ROI, a particular portion will be taken along the canny exit direction. And from that, once again, the GSM will be applied. And the same process it was taken for the database. Now, here the SPM is applied for the classification purpose. And inside this classification, here it meant for the original and the fake notes. Previous SVM, whatever it has been applied, it is for identifying the currency. So, this will be the two different block diagrams inside this particular project, which leads to a major kind of situations to classify uh, what type of note and uh, whether it is original or duplicate. So, regarding the feature extraction, we will be just seeing in a, a, with an example codes. So, advantages of this particular project is accuracy is more and distortion, the noise interference is less, application for authentication purpose as well as duplicate identification, the software is required MATLAB 7.5 as well as above. This project I have executed with MATLAB 2014A version. So, finally, the method has been successfully implemented. We were able to recognize the note 100% uh, age. We are also able to classify whether it is original note or fake note through the different image processing function. This method can be uh, implemented inside any of the money deposit machine or currency exchange area. That will be the future enhancement of this particular project. So, the list of references has been provided here. Explanation on coding for fake currency deduction. So, these three comments are used to uh, clear all the previous executed data inside the command window and uh, CD image. So, inside image only, image folder only, we have all the particular uh, test data and here we have the separate database and all has been trained previously. Now, inside this particular coding, we are able to provide JPG as well as PNG files. So any JPG and PNG files will be able to provide it over here. Once after providing it, we will be applying the IM reel. Then it will be exiting from that particular directory. Then whatever the file which we have read over here, it will be moved on towards conversion, color conversion and the image will be resized. So those image will be displayed by using IM show as well as uh, the name of the figure also will be put at the top. Now, the second order DWT we are going to use to compress that particular image, low low, left low, left high, then right of left, sorry, right low, right high. So, that particular regional parts we will be able to apply and from that the compression will be taken place and those compressed image also will be there. After compression, the feature should be extracted by using GLCM, gray level co-occurrence matrix. So, this will be the complete uh, formula for gray level co-occurrence matrix. After finding out the particular maximum and minimum, uh, the levels will be uh, found out with the help of maximum level minus minimum level. And this number of levels will be updated inside the gray matrix. And from the gray matrix, the respective uh, region will be cropped out to collect only the feature uh, from the matrix data for the 20 gray crops it is being applied. Now from that here we have to find the contrast area as well as the correlation area, energy, homogeneity. So these areas and all we have to find and where this GLCM is being applied means here we have as external file. So how to find that particular values it has been clearly listed over there. Now the next part is the Q features, query features will be collected. The, these mean values only it is known as the query features. The mean value of these particular data is known as the query features. Now this is for LX subband uh, gray level. So for each and every subband, here we have the four subbands. For the four subbands, the GLCM should be applied at each and every stage. Yeah. So after uh, providing for the last subband, finding the mean of the query. Now all the three query values mean will be found out over here. And therefore the data will be loaded over there. So this is for TT value and the net value. So both the data will be loaded. And finally, we will be providing with the simulation for the trained network. Because inside this trained network, we have to provide the simulation with the query feature as well as the net value. And this value will be converted from vector data to indices. So indices data only the numerical data. And from that, 
it will be finding out what type of money it is like 1000 rupees 2000 rupees 500 100 so it will be finding it out now we have to find out whether it is fakeness or not if we train to the system which is original then the rest of the section it automatically detects as the phase one so for that we have to provide the database so the database will be reading the consecutive numbers the same process will be applying uh, but only one change will be there instead of uh, conversion or compression and all here ROI selection is applied and instead of resizing here cropping is done the respective region will be cropped out after cropping for the entire image it will be cropped into the multiple uh, layers and from that layer only the edge will be detected here the edge detection whatever it has been applied it is canny so through that particular canny edge detection only the features and all the data here we will be extracting into the gray level co-occurrence matrix and from that particular gray level co-occurrence matrix here we have to know that particular contrast correlation so each and every step by step applications it will be cleared out over there and finally all the data will be reshaped and restructured so mainly the mean value of this queries the query values mean value will be taken from the database as well as the test image the comparison will be made on that basis only the classification will be done now what we have to do means we have to train the database with the help of any machine learning algorithm so here svm algorithm has been taken so for that the multi svm code is there so inside that a unique group train number of classes and the length zeros uh, based on the number of classes here the models will be automatically trained and automatically apply the text cases for classification purpose okay so that will be the function of the multi svm and from that after training therefore if we are getting the result as one means original that means it is nothing but the class if the class of the image whatever we have provided input comes under one therefore it is known as the original currency else it is known as the fake currency so inside this a particular currency direction the main code glcm and multi svm so these are the most important portions to work with uh, currency matching now i am just running the code here i am providing an image of 20 rupees to identify rupees is 20 this is an original currency so here we can see each and every canny matrix data okay now again for the fake currency so here i am providing this identified as 2000 but this is a fake currency based on the pattern so this and all is the methods and process to work under the image processing along with the machine learning project thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel